Hey guys, today we're watching Batman vs Superman. Dawn of Justice. That is the name. And I do I look tired? Because frankly, I am. Because I've spent the last two hours trying and trying again and again to get the extended version because I saw the comments on Man of Steel and a lot, a lot of you guys were saying because I was saying how I was considering skipping this one because it had lower views and you were like, no, don't listen to the reviews. It's a good movie, but you have to watch the extended version because that one is where it's at. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the extended version, of course, no problem, <laughs> no problemo, yes, and then I realized that I live in Eastern Europe, and America has claimed all rights to all movies to herself, so none of the rest of the world can access them, not with VPNs, not with anything. I've spent two hours trying to set up VPNs, to set up credit cards, to set up whatever I could think of to download it from some obscure websites. I think I have a virus on my computer now. And I didn't manage to get it. You sure about that? After two hours of trying, I did not manage to find it. It just, something kept going wrong. And I loved it because I spent 20 minutes trying to do something. And then at the end, it says that it's not available in my region, even with the VPN, which I spent money on. I, I, I must have made a thousand registrations, paid money and, and nothing. Just let me rent the movie. Like, what even is your problem? You know, why wouldn't they let me buy or rent the movie outside of the US? Why? I'm paying money. Take my money. Like, let me watch a movie. <laughs> you know, what's the problem here? I don't get it. Honestly, I, I've never been this frustrated in the movie finding process. But here we are, watching the normal version. And I've never seen this movie, and it pisses me off, because... Okay, let's calm and compose ourselves, shall we? Because I know that the extended version is much better. I know that, like, in the extended... Like, a lot of people didn't like this movie because they thought the characters were out of character and they didn't quite understand the motives behind their actions. And I know the extended versions version goes into that and it kind of explains the motives behind certain characters' actions. But now I'll never find out. And now I will probably be one of these people who don't get what's happening and who are like, oh, that was out of character. But maybe in the extended version, it's not out of character. So yeah, feel free to diss me in the comments. I will take it. I am prepared. I am prepared for this. I, I know what's coming. <laughs> There's gonna be so many comments saying like, oh, what a loss that you didn't watch. Uh, why didn't you watch the extended version? Because a lot of people skip the intro. <sighs> but yeah, I'm prepared for that. I'm ready to take it. At this point, nothing can hurt me. Two hours working towards something and seeing no results. Also, there's a pixel. There's a dead pixel on this version of the movie because it's downloaded, so... Yeah, well, we'll just have to make do with what we can. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Leave a like <laughs> to stop me from going insane. <laughs> anyway, to see the full reaction, you can go to Patreon. And for early access, you can become a member on YouTube. And from Instagram, OnlyFans, TikTok, Twitter, um, the, everything, meta, whatever. Check the links down below. All right, let's get started. So, so now we're getting another Bruce Wayne um, storyline, I guess. I wonder if it's gonna be different. Falling into the Batcave, becoming Batman. Also, I have watched all the Batman movies, so 
I am very... I've only watched one Superman movie and a whole bunch of Batman movies. So everyone's quite divided when it comes to Team Batman or Team Superman in this one. I feel like I know much more about Batman than I know about Superman. But I do like Superman. <laughs> I do love him. Like, just from that one movie, it was very well done. I'm just so sorry that I couldn't watch the extended version of this. I will try to guess, though. Oh, wait, so he falls into the cave right after it happens? In this one? That's interesting. No time has passed, just right after it happens, he falls into the bat cave. So I liked the other stories better, where he was already processing the trauma and then he falls into the bat cave and then he becomes Batman. Because now he doesn't even know that his parents died. He knows there's been a shootout. Is this happening for real or is he hallucinating this? Because. He's flying. <laughs> he is flying. Like, those bats are creating some sort of electromagnetic field around him. In the dream, they took me to the light. In the dream. There you go. That's Bruce Wayne, right? That's Ben Affleck. Yeah. That looks like Ben Affleck. <laughs> He's doing it. He's quite cute. I like him. I like Ben Affleck. Wait, I don't know if I said that already, but I will try my best to guess what was in the extended version, although that sounds ridiculous and I'm aware of it. This, like, if anything looks like an alien spaceship, this is it. This is what an alien spaceship looks like. And that's Superman crashing into the buildings, smashing around. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Jack, we didn't know you, but you were a good guy, I bet. If Bruce likes you, we like you. No way. Nothing can survive that. A horse can survive that, apparently. <laughs> Where did that horse come out of? Good job. Wait, nice. is that a dream? That's a dream. That's not reality. Nice. No way that's real. That's not real. No one's panicking. What is this? The kids aren't even scared. Okay, easy, easy. Yeah, Bruce. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, how can you not like him? Come on. Yeah, but why are they fighting? Why is it called Batman versus Superman? They obviously have a common enemy. <gasps> Wayne, that was his building. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. Avatar? This is, so avatar oh. do these places exist or is that like a filter to make the water turquoise miss lane jimmy olsen photographer obviously miss lane that's the same lois lane as before right they didn't change the actress maybe they did That's terrifying. That is the same actress, maybe slightly different. Are you a terrorist, General? <laughs> Did you, you don't just... <laughs> you don't just ask a person if they're a terrorist. Come on, Lewis. <laughs> oh... She... She's good job though. Wow. Wow. 
Beware of photographers. We've lost our asset on the ground. Repeat, we have lost our asset on the ground. The asset. You're calling him an asset. It's the goddamn drone. Stand down as an order. I I'm so confused as to what's happening. Why are they even there? Why is this place a place of interest, you know? What's happening? The sinuses, Miss Lane. I mean, these guys are onto something. They discovered that he's an agent. They're obviously good at what they do. But these are hired assassins, most definitely. And someone paid them more, apparently. <laughs> That's how hired assassins work. You can never guarantee that someone's not gonna pay them more. Okay. Arm okay. Taught and in range. They're coming back. These are the different guys now. Oh. What? What happened? What? Oh. Well, he just hit an ally aircraft? But they love each other and nothing can stand in the way of love. Not even... American aircrafts. Maybe Superman didn't hit an aircraft. Maybe he hit like a an enemy missile or something. Not even I think to God. But he used to be good, so that's why people don't like it. Is because Superman has been like painted as evil here, or irresponsible maybe. Ooh, the bat. Oh, hostages. He's trying to free them. Those were animal sounds. Like bear. Is he gonna attack the policeman? Why? You almost took my face off. How about you don't shoot the good guys, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Batman's clear so far. He hasn't attacked any good people without our knowledge. <gasps> Damn! That's like a new, new level Batman sign. <laughs> that is such a cozy apartment. I love it. I love it. Looking at apartments right now, I can appreciate a good infrastructure. Wait, she has a... Oh! Hey. <laughs> I was like, wait, she has a boyfriend? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what they're saying. You should. I'm saying I want to understand what happened. Yeah. And there's a cost. But he brought you flowers. Are you to love me and be you? What? He is him and he loves you. He's he's American, you know. He's human. Although he's not. Am I making sense? Yeah, he's powerful, but you never just blow up anyone. Okay, okay, now no need to make me okay. I want to be her. <laughs> Why am I not her? <laughs> Even you got too old to die young. This guy looks very familiar. He looks like an old Robert Downey Jr. Final ferry butter Final ferry butter bar, final ferry, butter bar, final ferry. There's nothing wrong with the microphone. Is that supposed to be Alfred? It's too low level. He knew nothing. This is a man who knows. They made Alfred a uh, good deal <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, you know. Although he's not even that old, but you don't even know if he exists. It could be a phantasm. One that wants to bring it. Why is everyone in this movie attractive? <laughs> what is this lady? The name the company after himself. He was the Lex in front of the court. How you doing? Oh, really? She's not even here, but I just saw her for a second. Damn. My dad started saying that he named the company. Uh, the one in the back. The lady in the back. 
I was very cute, you know. Right, checks for Lex. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. My rebuild Metropolis cruise found it. A little souvenir from the Kryptonian world engine. Is that is that that's Kryptonite? Where they keep the remains of the Kryptonian decedent. Oh, of course they do. Mm. We concluded the mineral could be weaponized if a large enough sample was found. And then Ah, so they're building a weapon against Superman. Which one? Well then. We don't have to depend upon Who is this guy? This guy is up to no good. The son of Lex looks looks Lex. He just looks like a psycho. I think that's our villain. Damn, that thing is huge. This chick. She's also evil, but I don't care. Oh my god! They say the Superman is a hero. Okay, but who's Why hero? are you topless? Super Why are you topless? Stop distracting me! I cannot pay any attention to the story. So many villain suspects here. There's another one. Yeah, I think that's the real, like... Hmm... Who is this guy? They built him a statue! That's not helping. <laughs> that's not helping. All those people blam blaming him. They just, like, people just look for scapegoats in all scenarios and cases. My guy has some upper body strength. Also, this is impossible. Resisting arrest and the felony charge of making terrorist threats. That False god. Years in prison. Poor son of a bitch. I mean, the statue is a little overboard, maybe. Because it just, like, makes people, I don't know, like, when people are looking for someone to blame for all of this, and there's a giant statue, and everyone's like, oh, our savior, and they're like, oh, you know what? He's the one to blame for all of this. So they did this. What? What is Bruce doing there? What is he doing there? No, honestly. Extended version? <laughs> Explain this. Why is he... Why does he have a boxing champion? Seems illegal too. Maybe he's after this guy, so he need a reason to like go after this guy. Maybe he's connected to his Russian guy. Oh, Russian! Good evening. That's all he needed. You're digging up snakes, Lo. It's kind of dangerous. Lo. Man, why don't I live in this universe? Tonight <laughs> I can't stay. No bourbon. Kentucky girl like yourself. That's your place. I understand why he's a psycho now. Girl. Psycho. Psycho. He's gonna kill her. Galloping through the streets to warn us. One. I'm getting chills from this guy. Take a weapon of assassination and call it deterrent. Granny Speech Tea, I saw a comment about this. On the Man of Steel one, they told me. Yeah. Nice reference. They're so against Superman. Okay, okay, I'm not taking any sides yet, which is good. I'm seeing... I'm seeing all the sides, I think. They're not painting anyone as bad. So... He's so sad. He also has problems. He 
because that's a hallucination, isn't it? It can't be real. Yeah. He has problems, like severe ones. He <laughs> should definitely see a psychiatrist about this. He has. There's the pills. Damn. See, that's why I liked Batman so much in the other movies is because he's like so relatable. Unlike Superman, who's kind of like out of this world, you know, he's this perfect man. Like he's he was raised in a perfect family, has good parents. He's just the stable type. But Bruce has trauma. And I feel like most people on this planet have traumas. It's hard to pick a side, so I'm not gonna yet. I don't feel divided. He's been invited. Stranger danger. <laughs> Batman doesn't need an invitation. In some website, they said that I should watch like the older Wonder Woman's before this, but I don't know if it's relevant. I don't think so. But I definitely don't remember the reference of like the Joker riding on a suit like that. Maybe it's just my memory. Between gods and men, Prometheus went with us. And <laughs> he just has a cheat code to lie. Where do you want to be? Batman's superpower is Alfred. <laughs> Superman doesn't have an Alfred. Sorry, can't do anything. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. Oh, my foundation is already issued a statement. They're socializing. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the way they're speaking about each other is like personas. It's a no good. I mean, it is a little suspicious. At least Clark Kent is like a nobody. He's just a media person. But Bruce Wayne is like this... <laughs> big person and all of a sudden this bat vigilante appears a little suspicious anyone with little common sense would you know connect the dots a little bit <laughs> he hears his call that's everything he needed to hear superman activated now he has the latinos in his favor all across the globe. Jesus character. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right thing. Yes. Ah, music Christ. What? Her universe, because there is Superman. There he is. This feels so real. I got goosebumps. Hi. And look, when things get rough, he goes back to his origins, to his like human parent who was there. The DARPA black box. I like her. Yeah, that's a little weird for Batman to be branding people like that. Isn't it? Isn't it? Who are you? <gasps> oh, shit, Lex. Nice wordplay. <laughs> this girl! She... I love her. I love her. No, girl, woman, woman. Major. Sorry. Do people know that her and Clark Kent are together? Because that could also be a correlation. You know, Superman goes wild to save this reporter. Well, who's her boyfriend again? It's a triumph. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you. Super random, but I... Uh, I'm sure it will play in to the whole. Oh, there is Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find it in the glove compartment of your car. Damn. Reminds me of Catwoman. Same spice. Another dream. 
Wait, is that not a dream? Come on. No way, that's real. That's real. They have the S on their shoulder. This is a dream. This is a dream. This is not real. Damn, that is a lot for a dream. This isn't real. This is real. I can't believe this. No, this is a dream. What is happening? Come on. This was so out of context. But if it was a dream, it would have ended a long time ago, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know what's happening. I'm confused. And then Superman's over there obliterating people. No, no way. No way this is real. Yeah, no. There you go. There you go. Thank you. But what is this now? I'm so confused. That was a dream within a dream within a dream. See, Clark Kent, he is stable. He's a stable person. Having control over his emotions. Whereas Batman, Bruce, he is troubled. He's emotional. He's angry. But yeah, that deal happened so fast. And there's nothing that Lex offered for that dude to just give him control over their most important asset this rock <laughs> the batmobile let's go oh i want to see it i want to see it super cool batmobile always impresses me i'm a car girl it's a war war car it's like a tank but Cooler. Much cooler. Yeah. It's bulletproof. <laughs> surprise, surprise. How do you look at something like this and think that it's not bulletproof? Come on. That's what I'm saying about, like, in Gotham, you know, you have a gazillionaire Bruce Wayne and then you have Batman who has, like, this. <laughs> How do you not make the connection? That is obviously like a multi-million dollar vehicle. If you can even call it that. Yeah, you can. It's a vehicle. Technically. Armored. Oh, that's the guy! Wait! I didn't even see his face before. He's just wrecking everything. No regard for property. This is some people, like, some people are poor, you know? Some people, this boat meant a lot to them. <laughs> oh! Shit! Yes! It's happening! They're gonna go fist to fist. <gasps> Damn! Damn! Okay, I'm sorry, but Superman's just too cool. He's too cool. Do you bleed? Vengeance. Now we've got vengeance. But I don't like that. I don't like that because Batman isn't supposed to be like this. Yes, he's troubled. He's traumatized. He's all that. But he doesn't just act out on impulses like this, you know? But maybe the extended version goes deeper into that. We'll never know. Well, I guess I will know. Comments, guys, please. <laughs> please have mercy. Is this is this something I'm missing? Because I feel like he wouldn't do that, right? Not my Bruce. Not the Bruce I know. He wouldn't just be vengeful and angry and decide to go head to head, fist to fist with someone just for the sake of like, you make me look bad, you know, whatever. He wouldn't do that. He's above that, right? I haven't seen so far, I haven't seen Superman like be out of character so much, as much as Batman. Hate what they don't understand. I think he hates Superman too. Be anything they need you to be. I love her. Or them. be none of it. And I love her. 
the healthiest family environment on the planet, man. Show up in the... <gasps> they know who he is. Go anywhere, I want to talk to you. Uh, you know what, Mercy, you go in and uh, make sure no one takes my... He just has like a vendetta against Superman and he wants to turn the whole country against him. This guy is so uncomfortable. <gasps> I just thought he was following her. He actually pushed her. Why? These are all people like hating him. People just get on a hate train and it's like, two two, you know? It's the same with the internet. Like, it's so easy. You see people hating on someone, you just like, all right. I guess I'll do the same. Sent of the governed, sir. I have sat. Okay, don't let your agenda show through. What does it mean, though? <gasps> Lewis is in danger. Even left a note, like a signature. 37% efficiency. Wow. Would you like- That's actually pretty good. Damn. He's really prepared to do anything. Batman and Superman need to unite against this dude because he's going to become powerful. He's got the kryptonite. He's got the ancient knowledge and the spaceship. Oh, okay, he doesn't have the kryptonite anymore. My bad, my bad. Bruce has the kryptonite. <laughs> Wonder Woman. That's why they said watch Wonder Woman first. Bruce, why have you proclaimed yourself against these people? What have they done to you? Acknowledging presence of foreign genetic material. Is he gonna bring him back to life? Come on. The Kryptonian visitor. Great, everything is going according to plan for this dude. I miss you, son. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> no, don't tell me. Don't tell me they're gonna... No! Keep her out of this! A few moments later. This is so stupid. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. I just, because it's like nearing two hours, so I was like, oh, let's check how much time we have left. And I see that there's three hours of the movie. And I swear to God, because when I started this movie, it said 2 hours and 30, but now it's 3 hours and I'm actually watching the extended cut. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> After ranting the whole intro about not being able to find it, well, I guess the stars have aligned. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is gonna be great. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, proceeding. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a second. Is that I found this movie, the one I'm currently watching. I found it like one hour in my search for the extended version. Nowhere on this did it say that it's extended version. So I assumed, okay, 
I have this now as a backup, but I'm going to keep looking for the extended version because that's what you guys want. That's what the audience wants. And that's what I want because I would want the extended version. So I kept looking, I kept pushing for one more hour. I could have stopped, but no, I kept going and I ended up with the extended version anyway. And I downloaded subtitles for this as well, because it didn't come with any. I downloaded subtitles and on the subtitles, it said that it was the normal version. I guess maybe we haven't seen the extended cut yet. Maybe it's like half an hour additionally that we haven't seen yet, but I doubt it, right? So I think the subtitles are right too. We'll see. We still have an hour to go and it's currently 1 a.m. because I didn't plan to be here for so long. But yeah, <laughs> everything is just great over here in Trixie land. That's how we do things. It's like no one ever plans for anything to happen. Things just happen. <laughs> And then we think something is right, but then it's not. Think again. Oh my god. It's a lot. I was like, I was planning to half, half an hour more. What's half an hour more? No, it's an hour more. I was, I was, I wanted to watch the extended version, but if I hadn't spent two hours looking for it, it would have been great. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had had to stay up until two but i am committed and i am determined and we're gonna do this and we're getting the extended version just like we wanted initially so everything's good yeah where did he get this armor from I didn't know that Wonder Woman was a part of this whole thing. As I said, I've never been in this universe, so all of this is very new to me, except for the Batman movies that I've seen. Yep, maybe you do know. Oh no! On equality, the shortest distance between any two points is a straight path. So he's like a genius, but he is a psycho. Wow, he just spawned out of nowhere. He was in the mountains of God knows where, and there he is now. Man in the sky intervened when I was a boy to deliver me from daddy's fists and abominations. Mm. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Day versus night. That's pretty cool, actually. Versus <laughs> he has orchestrated this whole thing so he could watch an epic fight. Shit. There we go. He just wants them to fight for what? For his amusement? This is the Joker. But like, you're really close to that. But Wonder Woman, she's gonna intervene. She's gonna save Martha. No one stays good in this world. No, come on, tell her. Tell her they have your mother. It's so simple. Like, they have my mother. I have no choice. Honesty. Why not? He didn't say he kills her if you tell anyone about this. Does she have no memory of who she is? The other guy. Another one. Oh, that's so cool. There's a bunch of them. They should form a league. A justice league. <laughs> Oh my god, it all makes sense to me right now. That's what Justice League is, isn't it? Is the the Aquaman? It's Aquaman! I know that there's a cyborg in the Justice League. So that's him, apparently. I don't know. I might be sounding like a complete idiot here because I don't know anything about this universe, but the pieces are kind of clicking for me. Although I don't know anything. He didn't even take a swing. He just... Oh, oh yes, yeah, the special weapons that he made. 
You're not brave. But why does he want to fight him? It doesn't make any sense. Because he's super? Because he's out of this world? And Bruce just like, oh no, I am a man. There's a man that's stronger than- I don't get it. That's not- Even though, like, I am watching the extended cut. And I don't get what- Why he would do that. I mean, maybe I wasn't paying attention to the Batman movies. Maybe that is Bruce Wayne. But... In my impression, in my head, he wasn't a guy that would do this just because he feels... I don't know, insecure about the fact that there's a superman you know i don't know that's what this is to me at least he did say he wants to leave his legacy but like all of that sounds like sound reasoning and he is like a damaged person maybe that's the reasoning maybe it's that he's just so messed up from what happened with all the nightmares and all the visions and stuff that... This is like the epic fight that I was expecting going into this movie. Like... So what do you do with this now? Like, you've defeated Superman. What, you kill him? Like, I don't know, any Batman fans out there? What do you make of this? Was this justified? Because Batman is all about justice, but this isn't just. So they have painted Batman as kind of a villain here. That's what I feel, right? I'm not wrong. So does that mean that Lex also gave Batman the kryptonite so he would make him more entertaining because otherwise Batman wouldn't stand a chance? Oh, in his dream. <gasps> Whoa, wait! See? Your mothers have the same name. You can't be mad at him. Stop! Why did you say that name? It's his mother's name! Was he gonna kill him though? Really? A guy that saves people? From burning buildings? A guy that saves kittens? You would kill him? Why? Uh, you promise. Martha won't die tonight. Now it's Batman and Superman. No, but I don't get why he was so mad at him. I feel like I am missing something because they wouldn't just make Batman like this unreasonably mad person about everything. Cute. Cute. See, I love it when Batman is good. <laughs> I love it when he's on the good folks side, you know? Well, the imaging is showing me two dozen hostiles on the. Alfred is the guy behind the curtain, the man behind the action. Also, look, that's what he does. He doesn't just shoot people and kill them. He incapacitates them. That's the difference. And I think in the other movies, he, like... Yeah, he never killed people. Am I wrong? Do I remember wrong? I might. Correct me, if I am. Or maybe that's Superman. Maybe I'm confusing the two. I'm sorry. I'm stupid, okay? <laughs> but yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe that's the only person that he oh, killed. Sense. A friend? Oh, I bet Aquaman's gonna find this in the next movie. The devil will do it. <gasps> oh yeah, he's resurrecting that 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 guy. As dead. He doesn't recognize you. What do you think? He's gonna scream Papa? See, he protects him now? Come on. Come on. This evil bastard, you protected him? Just let that thing kill him. Maybe I am like Batman. <laughs> I am like Batman myself. A little hateful, I gotta admit. <laughs> but 
<laughs> who isn't? Come on, who doesn't hate that guy? Looks, he's annoying and he's obnoxious. Excuse me. Yeah, bye. This is it's her calling. Sir, one casualty, Mr. President. Superman. Yeah, my man. You're really gonna deploy the nukes at them? Come on. No, 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 leave, leave. Yeah, you just tickled him a little bit. Now he's shedding. He's gonna grow bigger. No, no. What are you saying? No, Colin? no. He's hibernating. He's not dead. Superman can't die. Are you kidding me? I've only watched two movies with him. It's not fair if they kill him. Yay! Wait! Wait, he's doing something. Oh! Yes! Yeah, dive. He's back! <laughs> Is she with you? There's a spear, by the way. The one you were looking for. She's so cool. I see I love it when all the superheroes unite against one big ugly monster. Ooh. They're having like a Harry Potter moment. Come on, do some CPR or something. Okay. Okay. Shit. He can't carry that. You are my world. Stop, stop. You can't die. Just let go of the spear. No, he's not dead. No, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. Although these, this very much feels like a real death scene. That's just cruel. No, 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 no. Don't fast forward to any funeral. What the hell? Damn, looking at him gives me anxiety. Great actor work. No! No, come on! Come on! Come on! No, 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 no. Now they're just trying to piss me off. Yeah, now you're sending him off like a national hero, but you were talking crap. It's only in death you get the respect that you need. <laughs> we have to stand together. No. That's the end of Superman? Are you kidding me? They can't just kill Superman, come on. That... I'm just... Speechless. Come on, he's not dead. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Hope. Hope. That's all they gave us. They gave us a little, little bit of grain, little dirt speck of a hope. I'll take it. I'll take it. Man. Oh. This reaction has just been insane. <laughs> From me thinking I'm not watching the Ultimate Edition to me finding out that I am in, in fact watching the Ultimate Edition to my phone ringing in the most emotional moment to I don't even know what else went wrong here <laughs> but you know raw 
emotion has no bounds, <laughs> I guess. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, I see how people could have thought the you know characters were acting out of character, especially for Batman fans. Maybe this movie is a little, you know, because as I said, like I don't remember Batman being so unhinged or so like vengeful and angry before he did have his problems and his trauma like um especially referencing the dark knight series trilogy um he did have his problems but he was n he always had like this moral compass and i feel like he was always like this just as vigilante like no evil doing person and he's very much a human who has through money and technology acquired the power to combat evil so he's very much a human whereas this kind of i felt like at moments it felt like he was he was out of touch with his humanity almost um and a lot of people actually say that about superman about this movie and the other movies about Superman, they say that he feels out of touch with his humanity, although he did grow up human, very much so. Um, but I don't think that. I think that Superman was very much in touch with his humanity, very much in touch with his... Even in Man of Steel, he was still... He wasn't this deity like people were painting him out to be. He was a human, and people just saw his abilities and they painted him to be this god but he was a human. And that shows here when every time Lois Lane was in danger, he just flew straight to her because he still has, he is human. He has emotions. He's in love with her. She's the love of his life. And yeah, I just hope that he is um, alive. <laughs> I don't know what those little dirt specks were doing. But I just hope that that means he's alive. Because if they really did kill him here, that would be so horrible. We only saw him in two movies as I kept repeating. Like, it's not enough. I want more of him. We need more of him. They can't just end it here. You know, I think, I think he should be alive. Maybe a little, like, weak at first, but... He deserves to be alive, come on, come on. I don't accept, I don't accept his death. I will not accept it. I mean, at least Bruce, Bruce Wayne, he kind of found himself in the end. Maybe he just got lost and that's why in like, as people, it's normal to do that. We each have like ups and downs, we get lost some, sometimes. But then stuff happens and we find our path. So maybe that's what happened to him. Maybe that was the whole story that I kind of failed to understand up until now. Was that he has been trying to escape this trauma for so long. But now, like, it kind of defeated him for a little bit. Um, but then he found himself in the end. I think that that's kind of plausible. That's my theory. It's a solid one. <laughs> But yeah, if you have any other insights, any other comments, pop them in the comments down below. I did say that if you, in the intro, I did say that if you know anything about the extended version that I would be seeing, because again, I thought that I wasn't watching the extended version, but in fact I was, so I guess that is beyond the point. But for the first two hours of the movie, I was thinking that I wasn't watching the extended version, which might have affected my judgment a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, um, again, very chaotic video today, but um, <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'm trying to think of anything else that I wanted to say, but it's all lost in my head now and it's quite late. So, yeah, I'll just leave you with that. And if you want to add anything, you know where to do it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.